Hello and good afternoon, YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic and blessed afternoon over here on the East Coast. It's looking a little 50-50 over here, but nonetheless, the weather is great. Hope you're having a fantastic and blessed day nonetheless, right? No matter what weather it is, just smile anyway. So, it has uh, come to my attention that I was going through very, very heavy thumb fatigue while gaming. Now, I was looking for all types of options and trying to make this experience much more comfortable for me, for my thumb, when I'm playing games. Um, I tend to have an unconscious fidgeting movement when I'm playing. Um, I, don't, I won't be able to hand cam for you guys. I don't have one. So I will be able to do a live uh, video for you guys. So anyways, figure it out. What was the best way to figure out? And it was only my right thumb that had the thumb fatigue. You get your chance to get you a, CQ, a pair of CQC rushes. This is Control Freaks. Uh, one of the newest designs that they have with the four prong on the bottom. Uh, it's supposed to improve accuracy, comfort, and grip. Reduces grip. Uh, it does all three of these things. Now, they're not paying me to say this. Uh, I gave this product roughly about, mm, I'll say roughly about 30 hours of playtime and I'll tell you that it is absolutely worth it if you are looking for something to decrease the amount of motion required for you to look left and right when you're on a higher sensitivity this is a good start now I also did get a assorted set of precision rings now, this is if you are going super sweat hardcore. If you are not super sweating hardcore, these may not be for you. Just kidding. But um, they do add more tension to your uh, motion here, back and forth. I have it on, I don't know if you can see that right here. It's a camera will focus, but I have a black, aka hard, precision ring there to make it a much more comfortable experience than this experiencing this on the right stick sucks especially if you're a quick scoper or anything like that you, you know you have to drag or you know get the shot right or correct uh, but for motion I only you know I'm not putting a control freak on for the left one for motion this is gonna be my FPS controller I'm not gonna show you guys my driving controller because I'm gonna catch a lot of heat for it but um, I'll update y'all on that later. <clears throat> and then I also ended up getting, finally, a set of Modern Warfares, which I will put on right now. Um, so if you stay th all the way through, you'll get to see all the information in which I have about each individual product. So that way you're not getting bamboozled when you're, um, you're out there shopping. So here we go. So... The number one thing I want to bring to you guys' attention is the fact that these control freaks, they come in a pair of two. These are called control freaks, CQC rushes. Uh, again, it's very, very soft. I'm not going to take it off right now, but it is very soft. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that flex right there. Super soft, very grippy. The, the rubber is really difficult to explain, but the best way I can say is that it is very, very grippy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is not slick like your typical rubber. Um, then you have these rings in here for the, just the best amount of grip for your thumb that you can have when you're, you're moving forward left and right. Now, this is just for the CQCs. I will put on the Modern Warfare's as well. I haven't played with them yet, obviously. They're still in the, the case, but um, I also went for these grips because my hands did sweat <laughs> a lot when I held the controller, so there is that. Again, nothing on the left. Um, I don't want to restrict any of my movement on first persons at all, first person shooters. Um, this is uh, going to be for, I specifically bought this setup for Halo. I haven't, I, I've been trying to see if anyone had a setup for Halo. I didn't really see anything, so I went ahead and just hopefully um, help out somebody else that's also looking for something, so a way to improve their aim and uh, gameplay on Halo. 
I originally started with the medium ring. We're just gonna get. As far as the rings go, you will see that I do have the hard on here. They're coming in a set of three, the soft, medium, and hard. Uh, I initially started with the mediums, which is in the packet right here. I already opened it. Sorry, guys, you didn't get to see that. But the initial reaction was like, oh, rings, foam rings. Oh, my God, so prestigious, you know. But then it's like when you put them on, it's already used at the top. I put on the green ones on my racing one and the black ones on the current one. So I started with the mediums. Now, when I was on Halo with the mediums, it was already too stiff, so to speak. So when you turn on Halo, it was already, it's, a, it's not, Halo, it's not that much of a Twitch shooter. It's more like a, I call it a slow-mo shooter. <laughs> but uh so the movements you know you don't need the uh you don't need to move that fast like you do in compared to call of duty which is the other game i play that's the first person um that I'll, i may or i may or may not go live but i'm just gonna do a live gameplay for you guys i hope that you guys appreciate that more than the hand cam because i don't have the hand i mean i can record while i play actually that's what i'll do i'll record while i play and um yeah so you guys what the sensitivity is looking like and all that good stuff um, so that's pretty much it the, the soft is obviously going to be for your lower sensitivity let's say you're soft i'm just going to break it down for you guys halo terms so and call of duty i've tested call of duty i did a lot of test testing on call of duty and it came out great now i will say do your own homework these items like I said, these items I only bought because I preferred them for my play style. This is not for everyone. Again, do your homework. How I knew initially, how I knew I needed some CQCs initially before I got the Modern Warfare because they're so you know nice and the rubber in here is nice, but we're going to talk about this later. Uh, but the CQCs, again, uh, I, I literally just looked at my right analog stick before I installed it on. You know, when I was shopping, I was looking at my analog stick and I was looking at the edges to see, OK, which one would accommodate for my play style on which, of course, specific um, analog stick in which you're looking for, you know, to upgrade or put the control freak on, which should ideally be the right if, for it, to be honest. But uh, that's how I knew that you know, I needed something like this. So that was my decision. This is not to say this is the best one, but. For those that have a lot of wear around these parts of the controller, yeah, this is this is going to be the go-to um, for that. And just you know, resting your thumb, it does have a concave lip kind of to it, so uh, you can rest your thumb there easy and boom. So now we are going to get into swapping out and unboxing the Modern Warfare's. No, we're not. So soft is going to be for your... Damn. <laughs> soft is going to be for your lower sensitivity players. Medium is going to be for your medium. Hard is going to be for your higher sensitivity players. Now, I was initially playing on Halo at a 9.0 sensitivity at the time. And then I bumped it up. After I put the medium on, I bumped it up to a max of 10 and it was still too slow so then i had to tweak with the other settings uh, um, i don't know if you guys are specific with the settings on halo but i had to mess with the access and the um the dead zones to get even get even faster aim which i'll show y'all later so then i upgraded to the hard when i was ready because the medium became a little too slack for me for the way that i was trying to achieve because i wasn't able to snap on Halo as hard as I you know wanted to with the, in comparison to what I had without the ring so fixed it finally I'll show you all that settings if y'all want to see that later um, it's a lot of boring numbers I know y'all just want to see gameplay so I'm just gonna show y'all gameplay but just know I'm on the fastest sensitivity that works for me again for me these 
things work. They may not work for you. Now, I will explain how they don't work for you in two seconds. Now, Call of Duty, I was already playing on 9 before I had these, these anything set up on here. I was playing on a 9. And the shots was minty. Right? Then I upgraded to the hards. And there wasn't that much of a dramatic difference. The mediums didn't help me at all, really. They just made my aim more precise. Now, yes, I did end up going to the hard afterwards because the mediums just wasn't cutting it out for me anymore. So I had to go back. I had to go to get the hards. Um, got the hards on and I increased my sensitivity to 13. That is the most comfortable sensitivity in which I have tested so far. It's only been about three days that I've really been playing so far, but I will let y'all know, and maybe I'll keep y'all posted on a live, another live video of where I'm at if I do decide to go live on Call of Duty again, but more than likely I'm on Halo. So yes, the hard is going to help you in those higher sensitivities if you're already up there and they're gonna make your aim a lot more precise, a lot more precise, period. Aim assist, period. Precision, that is the name of the game. Precision, right? Okay, cool. So now we're gonna get to the fun part. I know y'all have been waiting for that. Unboxing. So here are these, these are high rises in comparison to the mid rise on these i'm gonna show you let's see if i can do it top by top bottom by bottom right there so these are the high rises here high rises these are the modern warfare the high rise mid rise these are the cqc's if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching thank you for go ahead and tell your friends share the video tell them hey I saw that your aim was bookie. Um, Nightwatch just put out a video that might help you out. This is not to, you know, to throw shade. But uh, <laughs> the weakest link on any team, you know what that is, right? Room for improvement. That's not to count them out. That is just room for improvement. So here we go. Got the Modern Warfare out. I'm only going to use the right one. I don't need the other one. So technically I'm doubling up, which is the best thing about these products is that it really does feel like I'm doubling up, <laughs> so to speak. So um, I'm not gonna lie, it feels good that it is the case that I, um, my bad, I'm putting the, uh, I'm putting the, uh, C the other CQC, the right one that y'all just saw on that controller on my racing one, just to put it up there. Here we go. Moment of truth. So we're just going to... Actually, I planned on doing something pretty crafty. I know how much you guys love me doing crafty stuff. So I'm actually going to put... This is my first broken into hard right here. And we're just going to add a little personality to my Modern Warfare. So, um, And I already have a spare one. So they give, they give us two, right? So I already got... I took the ring off. I knew I said I wouldn't take it off. But I'm going to take it off because I already want to spice this up so all I'm gonna do is put this over my modern warfares sorry that focus looked a little ugly <laughs> but I like to add personality to a lot of the things I own so I'm just gonna make this special for myself I'm just going to kind of wang jangle it around. Not a little add my own. I know it's, it's bland. It's just black. But when I put it on the stick, which I'll demonstrate right now for you guys, you guys are in luck. Because I usually don't go back. <laughs> but I'm going to take it out the baggie. I'm going to put another hard on there. It's a fresh hard. I already broke in the other ones a little bit so I want a fresh one to start out with with these modern warfare's not that it makes a difference this is just me and my preference I'm not paid to make this advertisement by the way so we're just gonna slide on slide the slide it on there I don't know if you guys can't really see that it's just a black 
ring again, just a fresh one. Get a fresh ring on there. See, make it look like a sock. Make it more look like a scarf. You, you know your ring is on right when it looks like a scarf around the stick. All right, now that it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Modern Warfare's on. It doesn't matter which way you place it. So now it looks like just one super tall sock. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just focus. There we go. It's unnecessary. I know people are going to be like, what? What would you, 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 you do that, bro? What? But I do what I want. I do what I like. So. There we go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it Initial reaction it's definitely higher than the other one i can tell you that it's a high rise for sure um it feels nice the rubber feels nice i do like the the, the design on the outside so the design on the outside here is kind of rigid i don't know if my camera will focus on that but it's kind of rigid all the way around here on the, on the edge just in case you know you're moving forward and your thumb gets chopped up like that or you're moving backward uh the, the material does feel gummy it's a gummy rubber translucent gummy rubber so you know it doesn't feel like you're losing grip at all at all it just feels like a super high rise concave and that ladies and gentlemen is the new setup uh is it worth it it is if you're looking to increase your aim your aim being more precise and if you use the um if you use if you usually play first person shooters or third person shooters yeah uh you're gonna feel the difference in your aim i'm not gonna lie to you i've been having a great time i actually been losing sleep messing around with these rings i'm not gonna lie to you guys such a nerd right <laughs> so um this is you know for if you're a controller player playing on pc i'm playing on pc if you're a controller player though no matter what you're playing on if you're a controller player you get these rings and these these control freaks it doesn't matter which one you get get the one that's preferred for your game style your play style this is my preferred play style uh for you know first first person shooter all day every day um oh so now my race controller looks like this I don't, know. I don't really need the right just that's just gonna be to look around uh, i don't want to waste you know the cqc so I, I don't know if i'm just gonna put it in the back in the box but i'll probably just leave it here just for aesthetics and then this to turn um this video will come later i know i'm gonna receive some heat for it but just calm down ladies and gentlemen calm down uh, i'm working on something I'm an untraditional, unordinary person, and we do unordinary things. Unordinary things. So, with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed the live video I'm about to post up because I'm about to test these bad boys right now. Peace. Night out. <laughs>